Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Nice to see you again and today I am back with another example chart. This chart I have named it as Super Intelligence because all the beautiful yogas and combinations are there which shows very high level of intelligence which this person has and I know this person and this person is extremely intelligent, very strong grasping power very intelligent, very sharp, very studious, all the good qualities of a student is there in this person and what else can I say? Well, let the chart speak for itself, okay? And if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation, then please go to my website. You will find the link in the description of the video below. And before I begin, as I say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Okay, so now before discussing about this chart, I would like to give a disclaimer here that when we are discussing these example charts, we will only focus on the particular aspect which I want to discuss. So for example here, we will not be discussing about things like marriage or health etc or spirituality we will only be discussing about education here okay and the other thing I wanted to say is that uh, many people said to me that oh you you said that if this planet is here that planet is there this happens that happens I also have this combination why am I not uh, like this okay so I would like to answer the question very simply that this uh, just by seeing one or two planets we cannot come to a conclusion about a chart okay so we have to see all the planets and I have almost uh, three to four hundred videos specifically on astrology on uh, these topics like how to read charts and so many other areas so you can see them and then you can understand what's going on okay and there can be some negative placements in all the examples which I show and that does not mean that if you have them you will also suffer uh, very badly okay the whole chart has to support something good or bad only that it only then that event happens all right so uh, let's see what uh, is this chart saying so before that let's understand which are the houses of education all right so the houses of education are primarily the fourth house because it's the house of primary education then it is the fifth house which is the house of intelligence okay and because i have decided to uh, name this chart as super intelligence or super intelligent so we must discuss the fifth house okay and then we must discuss the ninth house the ninth house also deals with vidya any kind of vidya higher knowledge okay spirituality uh, at the larger context but even uh, support from gurus guides and getting the right guidance at the right time okay so those things are uh, seen and then of course we have to see the 11th house and the connection of the 11th lord and when we say that uh, this person is super intelligent we are not only saying from a career uh, from a stu student perspective we are saying from a career perspective which means that this person is uh, doing very good as a teacher now and uh, we will see what are the yogas and combinations so for that to happen the 10th house has to have some connection with the 5th house and the 9th house and the 11th house and of course the lagna has to come in contact also by any means by whatever means it can be okay also second house is the house of wealth and sixth house is also the house of our daily work and uh, 10th house and 11th house we all know 2 6 10 11 are houses of money right so whenever we see uh, these kind of things uh, that the person is earning money very well then all these houses must be linked okay linked so now let's see what's happening so first things first as we see that he has the lord of the ascendant because this is number three in the ascendant always remember this is the first house this is not the third house okay so uh, he has the lord of the ascendant mercury because it's a gemini ascendant placed in the ninth house all right so whenever the lagna lord has connection with the ninth lord 
or the ninth house then it can show that the person can be very good as a guide or the person can have support from uh, very good guides in life okay now as if that was less you can see the tenth lord okay which is jupiter is also in the ninth house so i said tenth house ninth house do you see the connection now and also as i said fourth house is the house of primary education and mercury itself is the fourth lord here also and it is also situated in the ninth house this is a fantastic placement so uh, the lord of the first house and the tenth house is situated in the ninth house this is wonderful beautiful fantastic so this shows that a primary part of his karma will be uh, dealing with education and knowledge and all other avenues so then let's see what other combinations are there in this chart so if you see in general the second lord which is moon and the 11th lord which is mars is in mutual aspect you see moon and mars are respecting each other and this uh, is one of the very important yogas which is which is formed in astrology it is known as shashi mangal yoga although that the conjunction is more powerful but uh, the aspect also is very strong so it's like saying this house of uh, savings and earned wealth is aspected by the house of daily income okay fantastic it is and apart from that we see that there is a malefic like uh, rahu in the 11th house so they say that malefics in the uh, houses 3 6 10 11 are extremely good for career okay so you can see here saturn is also in the sixth house this makes the person very hard working because from the sixth house it aspects all the dusthanas you see saturn aspects the third house which is the eighth which is also dusthana then the twelfth house which is also dusthana and the tenth house which is the third house in this case which is also dusthana so it is subduing all these negative houses okay it subdues the influence when saturn sits in the sixth house so now having said that we need to take care of the fifth house fifth house is the house of intelligence and whenever you see ketu associated with the fifth house you will uh, always see that these the, these people can have a fascination for lord ganesh and they can they would like to worship ganesh sometimes okay depending on the other combinations in the chart of course uh, so now here you see that the ruler of the fifth house which is venus because this is the number seven sign libra is placed in exaltation in the tenth house of name fame status reputation respect so this is a mind-blowing placement to have so the fifth lord is in the tenth house that shows that the person will have lots of things related to intelligence when it comes for his career okay and that too this is not an ordinary sign this is in the sign of exhortation okay this is a very 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 powerful thing to have and apart from that we also have the sun uh, the sun placed in the 10th house it is in digbala as we know it is in directional strength that's fantastic so the person is very much focused towards career and uh, doing something good in life basically okay so when the 10th house from the lagna has a benefit it is known as amala yoga and some i mean some places it is said that this is known as amala yoga that gives a lot of name and fame and in general any planet in the 10th house is considered good even in the 11th house so uh, because of this venus you can see that uh, this person will have a very good name fame status and if you see that here the uh, 11th lord which is mars is also aspecting venus because mars aspects the fourth house from wherever it sits okay so mars is aspecting this 10th house and it is also aspecting moon and it is also aspecting sun so because of that the 11th house is giving support because wherever the 11th lord is sitting it will give you support in that area okay it will you can gain monetary support from that area so because the 11th lord is in the 7th house this is considered to be very good for marriage and uh, this person because he is a manglik uh, well as i said i will not discuss about marriage but just 
to give you some information as this person is a Manglik you can see that Mars is in the seventh house uh, astrologers had suggested him that to get married after the age of 28 and uh, this person got married uh, around at the age of 30 or 31 I guess okay and this person is leading uh, quite a good married life I mean I, I don't know I have not inquired personally how how great is your married life but uh, doesn't seem to be of any trouble as of now to me okay the person has not told me and also we see the second uh, second lord is in the lagna itself okay so this is like saying wealth is coming to you whatever which your planet is in the lagna that thing comes to you automatically without you going anywhere so it's like saying wealth comes to him and uh, the 11th lord is in the 7th house so 7th house shows other people public platform and all these things so when the 11th lord is in the 7th that shows that uh, other people help you in gaining wealth knowledge and all these things okay so these are the uh, different placements especially the most important placement here is the ruler of the 5th house in exaltation in the 10th house and the lagna lord and the 10th lord conjunct in the ninth house of higher learning higher education okay and apart from this other personal details of this person uh, I will not reveal because that person has not given me permission and that is it you can also check uh, if you have some charts and that is it you can also see which yogas are occurring how is it occurring okay so there you go super intelligence connection of the fourth house fifth house Lagna, 10th house, 9th house and 11th house. So these are the primary factors which we use when we are uh, judging uh, the intelligence of a person and will the person be able to make a career out of it. Okay, but that 10th house has to be very strongly associated with the other houses. Alright, and one last thing I forgot to say, if you see uh, the 5th lord which was Purva Punya past life good deeds is also aspecting the fourth house of education okay that shows all the blessings of uh, the past will come uh, also to this house of education okay so that is it from my side if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website you will find the link in the description below okay until next time with another example chart bye bye see you